Hi there, I'm Matt Kemp from London's The Underground Cookery School and today I'm going to show you some simple recipes which you're going to love. I'm going to show you how to make a masala sauce um, and what I've got here is some masala. Now the first thing you need to do is just burn off as much of that alcohol as possible. Um, so if you have a look at the quantity of masala that I've got in there, um, I'm going to reduce that down to about a half, get rid of all the bitterness in the alcohol. I mean, masala in itself is quite sweet, but there's an underlining bitterness in the alcohol. So we're going to burn that off, reduce it down so it's an overall sweeter texture. And then what I've got here is some chicken stock, about half pints of stock. And what we'll do is put that in, reduce it down till we get the consistency we like. You can add butter to the sauce if you want, although I'm not going to bother. Um, because I think it will be nice enough without. Um, and interestingly, if you want to know how to make a stock, just reference my video on how to make stock. So I've got a nice syrup there. Uh, having reduced that down, I've probably gone beyond halfway, but it doesn't matter. It's a lovely layer of flavour. I'm now going to put the chicken stock um, on top of it. What we're doing is we're layering flavours of the sauce. And as you see, there was about half a pint there, so there should be enough for about two portions, but I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to ask you to come back in because I want you to see the level or the volume of liquid that I've got. And what we'll do is we'll reduce that back down once again to maybe two thirds of its volume and then we'll, we'll plate up. When it reduces down to that level and you see that, that sort of bubble, that level of bubble, that's telling you that the sauce has reached the point of reduction. And it's just a question of how far you take that down to. I'm going to take it down a little bit further just to give it a bit more depth of flavour and to make it a little bit more syrupy. But you can take it out at this point, particularly if you think it's too salty, because natural salts do tend to take over a sauce. OK, um, come over here. Because if you have a look, that sauce is now... Well, it's a sauce, isn't it? It's reduced down, it's got a lovely... Um, syrupy consistency and I'm going to top that with my sauce just so that you can get an idea of the texture. Here we go. Look at that. Gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you make a masala sauce.